Sakai Five Big Ideas, Public and Private. This is the fourth in our series. Big idea number four is that you can make content public or private. But why would you want to do this? There are many reasons. How do we do it? Go to Resources and create a public folder. Then you will hover over Actions to click on Edit Details. You'll always get a form that looks like this. This form will become familiar to you. As you scroll down, you'll see this folder and its contents are publicly viewable. To make something public, you must click this item. And as you look down toward the page, you'll see a URL. That's the URL you can send to people and they'll be able to access public content. Keep in mind that in order for something to be public, you have to take action. The default setting is that all contents in Sakai are private to the site. In summary, you can share information easily with the public. You can use one site for multiple purposes and serve multiple audiences. You're still protecting student data where you need to, and you can probably come up with many other reasons why you might want to make content public in your site along with private information. This concludes the fourth in our series, Public and Private Information in Sakai. Subscribe to our blog at blog.sakai.unc.edu. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other Sakai tutorials online.